Dark Shadows came into my life actually through Grayson Hall, who came into my life as Shirley Grayson. My late husband, Charles Bowden, was uh, the, around the Westport Country Playhouse, and he did a play by a very good writer, William Marchand, that um, had Shirley Grayson in the cast. They all remained friends, and then Shirley married Sam Hall, and we had many friends in common, so we kept seeing each other. And then I heard that Sam was writing Dark Shadows, which fascinated me, because one of my earliest crushes was Dracula as a novel when I was really a child, six or seven. And Dark Shadows, with its an exploration of all these mysteries and uh, time travel and astrology and tarot cards and I Ching and runes and parallel universe. It was just fascinating. And so when every once in a while I'd look at it and whenever I could actually, and became really a fan of the program. Sam, before he wrote Dark Shadows, before he was on Dark Shadows, wrote plays. When we met him, he was a playwright. And since my husband was a prominent producer and director, he would send them to us. All of his plays had merit. They just weren't quite there yet. And then one day, he sent a script over. We lived very close to each other. Um, and said that they, they were going to have a reading of it at, in the Hall's house the following week, and there was a part in it he hoped that I would play. It was a very interesting play. Sam was wonderful at intricate plots, and he had, um, has a wide field of knowledge of all sorts of things, n not just occult. And um, so I went over to, over to Sam's house the following week to read, and I sat down and looked around the table. I was the only one there that wasn't on Dark Shadows. David Selby was reading, Nancy Barrett, I think Louis Edmonds, although he was not on the show then, um, we all knew him, and he was such a wonderful actor uh, with tremendous style. That was the great thing about Dark Shadows, that made it so different from all the other soaps. I also was very impressed with the range that these actors showed at this reading. They were all accomplished actors who could act in the theater if they were called upon to. They weren't just soap opera actors. <clears throat> Dan Curtis's casting, I, I assume that he had a lot to do with the casting, had a certain style. They were obviously upper class people. They also had to have the range to be able to play mo in the, a modern vernacular, which we were doing, but they also had to be able to play in the costume parts, which were then maybe 100 or 150 years previous. And um, that required a certain skill that, frankly, most soap, the soap opera people don't have. Um, I was very happy after this reading about, oh, I don't know how much longer, maybe a month or so, when Sam called and said, there's a part coming up. Would you like to play it? Well, I was thrilled to actually be on it with all these people that I admired in a show that I found really very interesting. And I must say that the attitude of everybody on it, even the children, there were two little children in the, in the part that I was on, um, I think Denise Nickerson, and I can't remember the name of the boy, but he was extraordinary. He was very smart, and you knew that he was too smart to just stay and be an actor. And, uh, he was one of those maddening children that knew everybody's parts all the time and could prompt everybody if it were needed. But um, also what interested me was the 
characters were so into the characters they were playing that they could almost improvise the scenes. You could tell them what it was about and you had a feeling that they didn't have to st stay on the book, if you know what I mean, and, but whatever they said would have been trenchant and, and correct. The part that I played was Hannah Stokes, and I was, I think, Lara Parker's aunt. She, she played Angelique, and she played, uh, I can't remember the name of the other character, beautiful, beautiful young woman and a fine actress and one of the big puzzlements in my life is why she wasn't a big movie star. She had it, had it all. A beautiful figure and she was very intelligent. Well, she's so intelligent that she's writing books now and <laughs> stopped acting. Um, most of my scenes were with her. I foretold the future. I did horoscopes. I read tarot cards. I seem to have been involved with the children in the plot. I really can't recall how. Um, but it was very ingeniously done. I also had a number of scenes with David Selby. Actually, the first day I was on the set, I had a scene with David Selby. I, there was some kind of doom hovering over them, and I was predicting it and um, trying to save them from it. It also seemed to me, as I remember, the last scene that I played, alchemy had come into the plot because we were in some mad scientist's laboratory. Chris Pennick, I think he was the mad scientist. And I can't remember what he was doing, turning coffee grounds into gold or something, something ingenious. Sam was incredibly ingenious, Sam Hall, plotting all of this, but it had its own kind of logic and it made its own kind of sense. <clears throat> um, Thea David, Thea David, carried the storyline that I was playing forward when I left. He, he served the purpose that Hannah Stokes was serving. And um, he was a charming man and a wonderful character actor and um, lived well beyond his means, although he did very well. He was very successful. And um, that's a whole other story, and I'm not sure it's appropriate to tell it, but we were all enormously fond of him, and very sad when he was no longer Nero Wolf and no longer, no longer with us. He did wonderful work as a young actor with the Brattle Theatre Company. That's when I first met him. And all the people on the show were very interesting. They all were intelligent. They all um, took, they took and they took their work seriously. Nobody was goofing off on the fish docks because it was a soap opera, because we never felt it was. We were all very, uh, it was a very engrossing experience and there was a wonderful communal feeling with all the people. They all were friendly. I mean, we spent so many hours in the studio, I can't imagine they were eager to spend much time out of it together, but um, it was a lovely experience and I always think of it with a great deal of pleasure.